Just ask you a quick question. Sure. Who is the most hated club in England? Leeds. In general. I think Millwall. I think Millwall. Uh, Leeds United. Millwall, traditionally. Probably Millwall. Millwall. One million percent. Uh, Millwall. Interesting set of fans. Notoriously violent. I think I'm being fair. So Leeds are the Millwall of the North. I'd probably agree with that actually, yeah. Being a Leeds fan, we love to be hated and that's one of the things that I really love to be hated as a fan. You go, oh, so do you support then? You go, oh, uh, I'm Millwall. At the Leeds home game, I actually saw a tweet from a, from a Leeds fan afterwards saying that's, that's not a football ground, that's a fucking zoo. So uh, we, we was happy with that though, to be fair. Started going to away games in the early 70s. Really, you took your life in your own hands. It was absolutely horrendous. People always assume, uh, you know, you're part of that, uh, part of that group. But um, yeah, I can assure you, I'm not. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know whether we ever will lose that stigma of being fans of cause trouble or a dirty Leeds tag. I think the origins of Leeds being hated go back to the Reeve era, which really began just after England had won the World Cup in 1966 and English football was asserting itself as the inventors of the game and the best at it. And then Leeds started being good, wearing a Real Madrid kit, playing like uh, AC Milan and Juventus and doing all the continental tricks that they'd learned in European games where our captain had his thigh broken against Torino and started applying it to the English leagues. And the football establishment didn't like that. One thing Yorkshire's like a foreign country anyway to a lot of people in London. And then secondly, we took on this continental approach to the game and to winning and became really successful at it. We weren't playing the proper English way and I don't think people like that. Why are Millwall a club that fans love to hate? I don't know, I've, you know, I said it before, we are very unique as a club and as a fan base and that's what sets us aside. You know, you come, you come to this place on and off the pitch, you'll get, you'll get intimidated, you'll get harassed, you'll get bullied. Um, and whether that's right or wrong, that's just, that's just the way we are. But it's not a bad thing that we are that way. It helps us in a big way with our home form. This place is, is a fortress and one of, the, one of the best records in English football over the last couple of years. One of the benefits of the club being mistreated for about the last 15 years is that the Premier League has barely touched us. The, the modern world of modern football has barely touched us and uh, nobody has really told us how to behave in the Premier League. So we still behave like we did in the 90s and the 80s, um, just in increasingly modern away stadiums. The, the Premier League now is sanitised and so I think in the Championship you get, you've got the last remaining passionate fans and I think even when Leeds were in the, were in the Premiership they, they retain that. So I think there, there is a similar feel I think. Obviously, we get recognised for the wrong reasons. We get recognised, you know, if you look in the papers and things like that, we get, we get all the headlines for all the wrong reasons. Where if you look from the Premier League to League Two over the past four or five years, we've done the most work for charity and we've been recognised for that. The club worked very, very hard to change. We are, we're currently family club of the year. You're always going to get the little incidents. Where, you know, Wembley last year, people running on the pitch afterwards, a few day trippers there really, more than little fans. There's a small minority of fans that always bring the bad name to the club but um, the vast majority uh, of us, it's, it's, it's unfair on us because that small um, set of fans will always give us um, a reputation as a club. I think it is the minority of the fans of Millwall, definitely, yeah. It's probably the guys from ages from 45 to 50 that still got that chip on the shoulder of Millwall from all those years ago. I'd probably say that about some Leeds fans as well, but I think Leeds fans are probably progressing from where we were from in the 80s to 90s to where we are now, definitely, yeah. What happened, our lads, they were getting beaten up a lot of times, but we had a group of fans who were trying to protect us at home. Eventually, all these young lads grew up, and they grew up together, and then they started fighting back, and then we got a reputation then for not standing up and taking it. But of course, the media picked up on that, especially the London media with the dirty leads and everything. But every, every time we did anything, it was all highlighted all over the country. If other clubs did it, it was, doesn't matter. There's, there's definitely something about this area that's contributed to the fans' mentality. You know, it's, it's, a, it's old school, you know, this is where we're all from. It's, it's a working class area. It's why it fits so, so well in this division we're in. 
a lot of Mill fans wouldn't want to go to the Premier League because it's sanitised, it's happy clappy, it's waving foam fingers, and, and that's not where we're all about. You know, there's a lot of local businesses around here, a very, very strong community, and you know, Bermondsey, it's, it's where we love and it's where we want to stay. I think our fans will stay loyal despite anything, and if other people want to put the pen of thought in and say we're dirty leads, we're lead scum, well, that's their problem, not ours, and we'll just deal with whatever's in front of us at the time, I think. But I'm proud to be Leeds.